Hi everyone. So uh, in this video, I will be teaching you all 21 PLS that I currently use. Uh, um, I recommend that you learn them in the order that I am te uh, telling you. And I will also tell the difficulty and chance of occurrence. So yeah, let's get on to the first part. So this is the first case where you have to rotate these three pieces, corner pieces, clockwise. <coughs> So the algorithm for this is x or prime u r prime d2 r u prime r prime d2 r2 and the difficulty is 2 stars and the chance of occurrence is 1 out of 18 solves. So next is the a b permutation which rotates these three corner pieces counterclockwise. The difficulty and chance of occurrence is the same. Difficulty 2 stars, chance of occurrence 1 out of 18 solves. The algorithm is x prime r u prime r d2 r prime u r d2 r2. The third one is the u a permutation. Whoops, so u b permutation, I mean. Yeah. Difficulty is 1 star and chance of occurrence is 1, one out of 18 solves again. So it rotates these three pieces counterclockwise. The algorithm is R U prime R U R U R U prime R prime U prime R2. You should know this one already from the beginner's method. Next one is just the inverse of that which is the U A permutation. Which rotates these three pieces clockwise. The, uh, the difficulty and chance of occurrence is the same again. Difficulty 1 star, chance of occurrence 1 out of 18 solves. The algorithm R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. Next one is the edge permutation, which swaps these two edges and these two edges. The algorithm is pretty simple. Uh, the difficulty is 1 star and the chance of occurrence is 1 out of 72 solves. The algorithm M2, U, M2, U2, M2, U, M2. Next one is the T permutation. It is the fastest algorithm of all PLLs. It swap, what it does is it swaps these two corners and these two edges. The difficulty is 2 stars and the chance of occurrence is 1 out of 18 solves. Um, so this is the algorithm. R U R prime U prime R prime F R2 u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime next one is the r j b permutation uh, it what it does is it swaps these two corners in, now instead of swapping these two stickers edge stickers it swaps these two stickers so the difficulty is one star and the chance of occurrence is the same one one out of eight, 18 solves the algorithm R U R prime F prime then do the T perm until your cube is solved. Now what actually happened in this permutation is here's the T permutation and here's the J B permutation. In the T permutation, the last R U R prime F prime has been moved from the end to the starting. That's the only difference between J B permutation and T permitted. Next is a Y perm. It swaps these two corners and these two edges. The uh, difficulty is two stars and chance of occurrence is one out of eighteen solves. The algorithm is F R U prime R prime U prime R U R prime F prime. I should get this T R U R prime U prime. R prime F or F prime and that should solve the cube.
Next one is the RB permutation. It swaps these two corners and these two edges. Difficulty is 2 stars and chance of occurrence is 1 out of 18. The same thing over and over again. The algorithm R prime U2 R U2 R prime F R U R prime U prime R prime F prime R2 U prime. And that should solve your cube. Next is the RA permutation. It swaps these two corners and these two edges. The difficulty is 1 star and chance of occurrence is 1 out of 18 solves. So the algorithm is the same thing but with your left hand instead of right. The algorithm is L U2 L prime U2 L F prime L prime U prime L U L F L2 U and that should solve your cube. Next is the V permutation. It swaps these two corners and these two edges. The difficulty is two stars and chance of occurrence is one out of eighteen solve for it. This is actually a mix, bunch of uh, a mix of uh, many algorithms. Um, so that's why it's very easy. Difficulty one star. R prime U R prime lower case D prime R prime F prime R two U prime R prime U R prime F R F. Next is the next next is the V permutation. Say F permutation. I mean, it swaps these two corners and these two edges. It's very easy to remember and because uh, you you will get to know it all yourself. It's R prime U prime F prime then the T perm except last move. So don't do the last F prime then U R. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell you difficulty one star and chance of hands even our eighteen solves. Next is the G D permutation. It it rotates these three pieces clockwise and these three edges counterclockwise. An easier way to recognize this case is by headlights on the left and this uh, one by one by two block on the right over here. The difficulty is two stars and chance of occurrence one out of eighteen solves. The algorithm is R U R prime Y prime R two lowercase U prime R U prime R prime U R prime small u R two. Next one is the G B permutation. It rotates these three pieces counterclockwise, these three corners, and these three pieces edges uh, clockwise. The difficulty is two stars and one out of eighteen solves. Chance of occurrence. Um, okay, the algorithm is uh, an easy way to recognize this case is by headlights on the left and this one by one by two block over here, top right, on the right face. R prime U prime R. Y, R2, lowercase u, R prime u, R u prime, R u, lowercase u prime, R2. Next one, next one is the GC permutation. GC, yeah. It rotates these three corners counterclockwise and these three edges clockwise. And easier way to recognize this by headlights on the left and instead of being one by two, by two block over here or somewhere. Oh, it's over here on the back. The algorithm is just the inverse of the first G perm. So it's R2 lowercase u prime R u prime R u i prime lowercase u R2 y R u prime r prime. Now let's get on to the final G perm, which is the G A permutation. It rotates these three corners clockwise and these three edges counterclockwise. It is recognized by uh, headlights on the left and this one by one by two block over here. The difficulty and ch chance of occurrence I already told you. The algorithm R2, yeah, R2, lowercase u, r prime u, r prime u prime, r lowercase u prime, r2. Y prime, 
I bet you what. Next is the Z permutation. It swaps these two edges and these two edges. Difficulty is one star and chance of occurrence is one out of thirty-six. All the algorithm is M two U M two U M prime U two M two U two M prime U two. Now, next one is the J A permutation. It swaps these two corners and these two edges. J A permutation. Difficulty is one star and chance of occurrence one out of eighteen stars. Now, I think the algorithm that I'm going to teach you is not the best algorithm. I mean, it's way it's quite slow, but yeah. I use this one anyways. It's L U prime R prime U L prime U two R U prime R prime U two R. I think this is the one hand algorithm. Next is the E perm. It it swaps these two edge corners and these two corners. So, um, yeah, difficulty is two stars and chance of occurrence is one out of thirty six solves. The algorithm is R two U R prime lowercase D prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime R U R prime F U prime F two. Next is the N B permutation. It swaps these two corners and these two edges. The difficulty is one star and chance of success is one out of seventy two solves. This this one doesn't really comes in solve speed solving, but yeah, the algorithm R prime U L prime U two R U prime L. Now do everything what we did again. So R prime U L prime U two R U prime L U prime. Now the final one, which is the N A permutation. It swaps these two corners and these two edges. The difficulty and chance of occurrence is the same. So the algorithm is the same, but with your left hand instead of your right hand. The algorithm is L U prime R U two L prime U R prime. Now do everything again. L U prime R U two L prime U R prime. You. Now I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and maybe I'll make a video on how to recognize PLL cases. And yeah, please subscribe for more.